Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Enhance your payment processing capabilities to Shopify in 2023 by integrating Authorize.Not. This step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the integration process, ensuring secure and efficient transaction for your customers through the connection between Authorize.Net and Shopify. So guys, let's get it started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing is obviously going to your Shopify account. Head on up to Shopify.com and clicking on login to log into your account is the most important thing, which is the most obvious thing to do. Then connect to one of your accounts. Let me just close this. This is my VPN. And there we have it. Let's just connect to your account again, to my email. And here I am. So now I have to choose a store between my stores here. Go to active and choose one of your stores to start working on. And there you have it. So the second thing is go ahead and go to authorize.net and make sure that it is acceptable by uh, Shopify. So here we can help you get paid through these ones. So as you can see. Now here let me just search and Shopify. And they do have it. So here authorize.net payment provider it is accepted by them since they have created of course a whole article about it so let's do the same thing as as well first of all you could find it on the shopify app store this is an option to look for it so you can go to authorize even though it is really uh, not a high chance that you will find it here but yeah this you can try to go and find it here let me just write it correctly authorize.net and as you can see we couldn't really find it, even though let's check the logo, let's search for it by logo and try to find the same logo that we have searched for. There is no app and there is like 27 page to look for. So basically it doesn't really exist here. So what should we do to actually add it as our payment getaway? Very easily guys, just by going to your Shopify account, go to the bottom of the page. Here you can see the menu on the sidebar, go to the bottom of it, then click on the settings. Next thing is that page will be open for you. Click here in this section, which is the menu, and click on the payments. The next thing to do, which is going to see all other providers, since they will give you some of the providers as Shopify payments. We don't really want that for now. We want the authorized provider. So here, as you can see, once you have opened this page, Authorize.net has already been appearing. They will accept all of these different kind of uh, payment methods from Visa, MasterCard, American Express, GCB, Discover, Dynamics Club, and Upper Pay. So now all we need to do is simply activate Authorize.net through this button. And there you have it. So credentials required to activate payment providers. Here, as you can see, we have to put some kind of credentials. Now let's go back here. Click on it. And this is the page. So to have your credentials, you have to actually have an account on payment uh, or authorize.net. So simply go ahead here and click on get started. So here we go. And you should fill one of these uh, things. So he, this one is free and this one is, uh, I mean, both are free, but uh, this one will have a monthly getaway of 25, this one as well, this one will have a transaction percentage, and this one transaction percentage also will be cut off. So choose whatever you want from these two, and now let's just go for one of them and sign up now. And here we go on the page. So just wait for it until it loads fully. And then you just have to fill your information from name, email, etc., password. And it can take a lot of stuff to actually fill it. Everything guys has to be specifically done correctly. So they can review it later on and accept you as one of their customers and give you everything you need. Now, if you made any mistake, they will not review your account and you will not be accepted. And in case you have been through the review, you could still get rejected by their systems since their employees are always uh, doing the verification by themselves. There is no AI is being interrupting any step. Everything is being recognized and verified by a human being instead of a robot. So this is a thing to put in mind. And of course, if you got rejected, they will text you an email about what is missing in your formula. And you can simply just fix it later on and submit it once more. And like that, you will be accepted. 
for now this is the page that you have to fill once you have filled it click on i agree and submit and then you have to wait three days at least until you have your account accepted and then you will find your credentials and simply just put them in here from account information api login id and the transaction key let's try to create random ones by this one i don't know if it's gonna work actually but yeah let's go for it yeah it didn't work but obviously this is what you have to go through in order to get it done and working for you without any problems so what will happen exactly if you couldn't find it what are the solutions in case you couldn't find the authorized net in your payment gateways well there is several like things that can be causing this problem for you the first cause is the fact that your website is actually in a wrong location as an example here as you can see business address is in the united states even though i'm not from the us but still the billing information of my account has to be from the us so i can get accepted so to do so to make sure that you are accepted or not let's search for the other net accepted countries and there we have it they are based in the us and in canada and australia other than that you will not be able to actually add it even if you have found it you will not be actually able to add it as your payment getaway since you are not or your local store is not in that uh, place you have to change your business address when you are creating your store not inside of this page, but when the first time you create your store, you have to change that. In case you didn't change it, well, unfortunately, guys, I have to tell you that, but you have to create a whole new website, a whole new store from zero, and rechange the billing address through that process. Of course, changing the billing address is not enough. You have to even change your IP during that process. Make it, make it like it's very easy to change your IP, guys. You can use this VPN, which is free on your Google Store. A Google Store extensions which called Hola it will give you 30 minutes per day as VPN and you can simply head up to your account on Shopify and then create a new one and manage to have your account based in the country that you have chosen as your VPN IP and yeah guys if you had uh, another mistake or problem you could also ask for shopify uh, to help you like the support is always available 24 7 you even could ask for help from reddit from me in the description you can just simply write any comments in the comment section i will go through all your comments guys i go through all the comments of all the videos that i've posted and i read all of them one by one so you can ensure everyone has its benefits from my videos so thank you guys a lot for watching if you do have any more questions make sure to make them down below in the comment section i will answer them all and if i couldn't answer one of your questions make sure to put in mind that i am doing a new video about that comment that you have written for me so thank you guys a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed it and see you guys in the next tutorial